Hello, bakers. It's me again, Chef Alex. I am so excited about today's baking challenge. Do you want to know why? What's that? <laughs> okay. I'm excited because we get to make my favorite surprise inside food in today's challenge. <laughs> Can you help me announce today's challenge with a drum roll? We are making ham and cheese hot pockets. Ooh, my goodness, I can't wait. We only need a few ingredients and a baking sheet. I already started my hot pockets earlier because they take a little longer to bake. So please remind me when the timer goes off to get them out. The cool thing about hot pockets is you can make them using any ingredients you want. I love ham and cheese, but you could use peaches and eat them for breakfast or broccoli and cheddar cheese and have them for dinner. There's always a hot, flaky crust and a yummy filling inside. It brings me so much joy to eat my favorite treat. What's your favorite treat to eat? Yum! Hey, that reminds me of a story from the Bible about a man named Paul who sure knew how to rejoice. Even without his favorite foods, he was still thankful. Paul was a follower of Jesus and told everyone he could about Jesus anywhere he went. This made some people very angry. They were so angry that they put Paul in prison with no food, no friends, and no one to take care of him. How would you feel if you were locked up away from all of your friends and family with no food and no one to take care of you? I would be sad, but you know something? Paul was content and satisfied. Instead of crying, complaining, throwing a tantrum, or worrying, Paul wrote a letter to his friends telling them to pray for what they needed and thank God for what he had already given them. Paul said their hearts would fill with God's peace when they did that. God would replace their worries with the calm and confidence that he would care for them in their time of need. Then they will be able to endure whatever comes their way. Paul knew God would do this for his friends because God did it for him. While he was in prison, the church in the region of Philippi sent Paul money to help care for his needs. Paul was thankful for the gift from his friends. And when he wrote to his friends in Philippi to thank them for the gift, he said his joy didn't depend on their gift. The secret, Paul says, to being satisfied no matter what challenges we face is to let Jesus be our source of strength. Through Jesus, we can grow and go through every circumstance. God will give us joy and contentment in our hearts and help us to see all the good things he's given us. God has given us gifts and blessings. Speaking of good things, I think there's something really good inside this oven. Let's take our hot pockets out. Remember, always get an adult to help with hot things. Ooh, these sure smell great. <gasps> Uh-oh, some of our Hot Pockets burn. I really want to be upset, but we just learned today about allowing God to fill us with joy when things go right and when things don't go as we hoped. So I'll enjoy this Hot Pocket anyway and be thankful for it. Thanks for joining me as we made a delicious treat. I'm gonna eat it now. I'm glad to know that even when things are hard, we can have joy because God makes us joyful.